All right, today I'm going to teach you about literal equations. Um, literally, literal equations is, is basically the same thing as regular equations, except we're dealing with multiple variables. So you have, um, you might have x, y, z, you could have several different variables in the same problem. Um, so in this case, what you typically are doing, you can't solve, you're not getting a numerical answer. Um, it's not like an equation where you get like x equals 10. In this case, you, because there's so many variables, you can't get a numerical answer. All you can get is how it's related to the other variables. Uh, so for example, you might get an answer like x equals y plus 2, which means whatever y is, you'll add 2 to it to get x. All right. So in this case, um, the literal equation process, again, is very similar to equations. What I kind of recommend doing is first look at it, identify the terms that exist and what you're looking for. Then you've got to move stuff. Um, sometimes you're going to have to pull out a GCF, uh, which is a greatest common factor. Those are for the more advanced problems. Um, but for the most part, you just have to move things to the appropriate side and then multiply or divide by the coefficients. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this example. Uh, this would be, I think, one of the harder ones you might ever see. Um, so again, the first thing you would do is uh, to identify all the terms that are in the problem. So a term is separated by addition or subtraction. Uh, don't look at these as adding, subtracting. Looking, look at it as positives and negatives. So in this case, again, we got a positive 2xy, positive 5y, negative 13, there's a balance line, negative 3z, positive 2xz, positive 10, and negative y. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. And if you notice, each term, they look a little different. See how this has 2xy and this has 5y? Those are not the same. So you can't put those together, okay? Um, so if there's a different, if you have two different variables, they are not the same. It's not the same type of term. All right. So after you identify the terms, uh, then you want to move them to the correct sides. So in this case, we're solving for y. All right. So I recommend that whatever you're solving for, get everything with that letter on the same side. So here we're looking for y's. So this has a y. This has a y, and this has a y. Okay, so those are our three terms with a y. So you want to get everything with a y to one side, everything that doesn't have a y to the other. All right. So those two are already fine. So the one that's on the wrong side is this minus y. All right. Well, if it's minus y, well that's the same thing as minus one y. So if I want to move it, I got to do the opposite. So the opposite of minus one y is obviously plus one y. So you plus one y. Now when you add 1y to this side, I recommend put it under the same type of term. So put it on, see this is 5y, so you'd want to put 1y. You don't want to put it under the 2xy, because again, this has only a y, this also has an x. So these are the like terms. Alright, so those cancel out. We're left with 2xy plus 5 and 1 make 6y minus 13 equals negative 3z, positive 2xz, and positive 10. All right, now again, we look for our terms. Y term, it has a Y, has a Y. This one doesn't have a Y. Okay, doesn't have a Y, doesn't have a Y, doesn't have a Y. So we need to move this negative 13 over to this side where the non-Y terms go. So the opposite of negative 13, again, when you move it to the other side, you've got to say plus 13. So we're going to add that to the like term, so I'm going to put it underneath the 10 those are the same type of terms. So we simplify that out. So that's 2xy plus 6y equals negative 3z plus 2xz plus 10 and 13 make 23. All right. After we've combined like terms, we've moved things to the correct side, um, we're going to go on and look for a GCF. All right. So when you're doing a GCF, um, again, you're looking for a greatest common factor uh, in both terms. So in this case, both of these have a y, but we can't combine them because they, they're different. There's that x. However, what you can do is because they both have a y, you can pull it out. So in this case, I'm going to pull out a y from each term. So when I pull out the y, that leaves you with y times parentheses 2x plus 6. So we pulled out the greatest common factor. And then you rewrite the other side. 
Now, most of the time, you won't have to pull out a GCF, but again, if you ever have two terms that both have the, they both have the Y, but we can't combine them because, again, this has an X, you just have to pull it out. All right, so now that we've gotten everything pulled out, you do the final step, which is to multiply or divide by the coefficient. So in this case, again, we've got Y times parentheses 2X plus 6 equals all of this stuff, negative 3Z plus 2XZ plus 23. So the final step is to get rid of this coefficient. So the coefficient doesn't always have to be what's in front. It can sometimes be what's behind. They're both attached by multiplication. So the opposite of times, this whole thing, is divide by that whole thing. So you do that to both sides. And so your final answer is going to be y equals negative 3z plus 2xz plus 23 all over 2x plus 6. And that would be your final answer for the literal equation. Again, notice it's not a numerical answer because there wasn't enough information to solve it. We simply are rearranging for the appropriate letter.